in a serene forest outside of Guelph, Ontario, we're on the hunt for microbes. It's where Jackie Gordiel tests her tools for remote climate change research in the Arctic. Wow, this is squishy. Deeper than you think it is. Okay. And this is where we're about to go off limits. My research looks at what microorganisms are in the permafrost. Uh, are they alive? What is the low temperature limit of their life? So what's the coldest that they can go without dying? Uh, and then importantly, what greenhouse gases might they be producing or eating? Jackie has led teams to the Earth's poles. I love going to the field. I love going to places that very few people get to go. There's sometimes where I think to myself, oh, maybe no one has put a footstep in this exact spot before, and that just thrills me. Today, we're testing Jackie's tools. The first one involves us getting wet and muddy. This is the type of area that we would typically come to to test our equipment before we take it all the way to the Arctic. So this device has a couple different probes on it that you can see here. They measure temperature, oxygen, pH. Uh, this kind of gives us a sense of the, the conditions in various environments, which allows us to think about what the microbes might be doing in that environment. Oh yeah. Whoa. All right. <laughs> this probe is lowered below the surface Ooh. to take measurements. Could be carbon dioxide, it could be methane. Uh, methane loves muddy environments. Um, and right now, because we're kind of, you know, sifting in this, in this sediment, you know, we're kind of submerged in the mud, we're probably starting to disturb some of that sediment and those bubbles are finally having an opportunity to, to pop up and come to the surface. Here we go. Another piece of tech for testing is this trace gas analyzer. Uh, we're going to measure the microbes uh, emitting greenhouse gases potentially or consuming it. What are you learning about the methane in this area here? We get to know how much methane gets produced and what microbes might be producing that methane or are there any microbes that might be eating it? Really cool. Yeah. You won't find cows in the Arctic, but Jackie uses them to test her tools. She has one that can detect the high levels of methane they belch and yes, BART. So that's your methane sniffing tube, and if you just point it over here at this cow pen, you should be able to detect methane right away. Cattle is the number one agricultural source of greenhouse gases in the world. Cows have microorganisms in their guts that are actually very similar to the microorganisms in permafrost. So they eat carbon and they produce methane. Uh, we detect that methane through cow farts. Final stop is Jackie's lab, where she brings her research back from the field. So these are some of the microbes that we got from our Arctic permafrost. So we grow them on different types of carbon substrates and look at the diversity of organisms that we find in the soil. It's hard to believe microscopic bacteria could hold so many clues. And those clues extend way beyond Earth. If we know microorganisms can live on our planet in these really cold, extreme environments, could they perhaps live on Mars or on one of these moons? And so we test the limits of life at cold temperatures here on Earth to help us better understand where and how we might look elsewhere. 